Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be talking about caffeine and how it has a very underappreciated use that I don't see anyone talking about. So let's jump right into this video. So for those of you who don't know, caffeine and vigor temporarily gives you unlimited stamina allowing you to run long distances uninterrupted. Tactically, I've seen people use this in three main ways. Number one is the most basic in that people will use it to get to an extract faster and escape the encroaching radiation. Usually this seems to be somewhat of a panic use after you check the map and realize how far you are from exit. Number two is using it to escape players who may outgun you. I find this to be especially common among newer players where it's more important to survive with what they have than to risk it all in a fight. So it's a solid strategy if you feel you're at a disadvantage and need to escape quickly. The third way I see caffeine being used is what I consider to be the most advanced, where you'll use caffeine to push much faster than the enemy expects or wrap their left or right much quicker than normally possible and catch them off guard. So now for the hidden fourth use, which is what this video is actually about, and that's the utility of it when using first person scopes. Your character's ability to hold breath while looking through a scope is tied to your stamina bar. So when using a caffeine, you can hold your breath for the full 20 second duration of the pill and then an entire stamina bar after that runs out. So while it might not feel like it's a major difference, an entire 20 seconds longer that you have a stable scope picture can make a world of difference when using any DMR or sniper in long range engagements. It makes those DMRs like the VSS, SG-1, and HBAR much more relevant because of how much easier it is to land follow-up shots, and the high damage ones are also drastically improved because of it. The SVD, SVU, M21, and Parker Hale are what I consider to be some of the best high damage contenders for long range combat and vigor, and having a steady sight to land more shots is of course incredibly helpful. Scope sway is a major balancing factor to all of these guns, and with caffeine you can effectively circumnavigate that entirely. Like here especially you can see me using an AUR, and if I didn't have better sway here I don't think I would have hit this. It's just an utterly fantastic use of an otherwise underappreciated and underrecognized consumable, and because of that it may give you a reason to cut into your stockpiles the next time you find yourself running a scoped gun in an encounter. Pretty much every person I've talked to about this in the production process of this video has said they have massive stockpiles of them due to nearly never bringing them in. And I'm also guilty of this, never really using them for anything unless I come across them in the encounter. But who knows, maybe after this video gets out and spreads around the community, we might see some more use of caffeine as a whole. The only complication I really found with it is just getting your timing right on when to pop the caffeine before you start opening fire, but really it's pretty easy to tell, especially if you spot your target at distance and you have a long time to react. But yeah, that's pretty much all I needed to talk about, so I'm sure this video is going to be pretty short. But yeah, moral of the story, it might be wise to grab a quick stack of caffeine next time you're playing a long range map and are really gunning for those long range headshots, because in Vigor, every second and every shot counts. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.